This video is sponsored by APS. What's up guys, Chris here back with a new video and hopefully I was able to make uh, some sort of custom splash screen in the intro to let you know that this video and the contents of this package is sponsored by APS, the uh, makers of the APS Cam 870 shotgun system and they also do CO2 pistols and a lot of other things. So how this came to be is um, I've always been a big fan of the APS Cam 870 platform, a uh, big fan of APS as a company. And if you've followed my channel for a while, you know I have a lot of technical videos on the APS Cam 870 shotgun in, in uh, terms of disassembly, a little bit of tech tips, tips and tricks and all of that. And APS actually contacted me on YouTube, um, this is many, many months ago, maybe even a year, and asked permission if they could use some of my videos on their website, which they currently have. If you uh, click in on, for example, the Bolt for the APS Cam 870 on their website, my video is down there um, telling you how to install and whatnot. So anyway, I, uh, I, w I have um, one regular APS Cam 870 shotgun that I bought full sized, and then I have parts rebuilt to the Shorty that you've probably seen. I also have the APS Cam 870 SAI version, which I haven't really used yet. I was planning on selling it, but decided to keep it. And I was looking at it and there were a couple of upgrade parts that I wanted for it. And I was also really interested in the new uh, Cam 870 smart shells. So I contacted APS via their contact form on their website and kindly asked if they would sponsor me with some of these products uh, which they agreed to and um, obviously I've had a lot of contact with not obviously but I have had a lot of contact with APS via their website contact form asking about products uh, asking about uh, the situation with the Cam 870 there if you recall like six months ago there were some issues with some thugs in uh, Taiwan shooting um, real things from the Cam 870. I won't go into too much detail about that. But anyway, uh, the world has been very good with responding, kind responses, quick response times, usually within 24 and 48 hours. Um, you know, I just, I like them as a company as a whole. And again, I'm a big fan of the Cam 870 platform. So let's uh, jump into the box and see what we have here. So this is not random parts. I actually requested these specifically. So just so you know. That's about it. So as per usual, let's go with the least interesting to the most interesting. So this, uh, if you've seen uh, my recent uh, WGC shop unboxing, you'll r recall this one. These are the magazine cradle arms in steel with tin coating finish. And let's see, yep, the label is the same on here as on the previous one, steel magazine lock. And basically what this, this uh, does is it's the arms that cup around the magazine tube and holds it in place. And the reason why this is a good upgrade part is because the original is made from aluminum and there are some very thin edges on here that are a little bit of a weak point, maybe you could say. If you look right in here, you'll see that edge right there. There's not a whole lot of material holding it in place. Uh, I'm gonna um, put this in my SAI shotgun, so I'll be keeping gold finish. Um, on the black one, I'll uh, sand down the finish and paint it black. So this is about a $40 part. Well, actually, you know what I'll do? I won't go into detail about the cost and the contents of this package just out of respect for uh, APS and their sponsorship. But obviously you can look up the things online and see what they cost. Next up, big long package. Um, 
well, I'll just leave it at that. So uh, the funny thing is, I originally requested this part and then I realized that the SAI shotgun already comes with this. And I said, hey, uh, you know, you don't have to send me this. They did anyway, uh, which might be a good thing because I actually, I, uh, I'm gonna put this on my black Cam 70, my original one. So this is the four end tube arm in steel with tin coating. I'm just wiping off some oil here. And I don't think other than the color that this is like a much better part than what's on the original one. But um, if you have an SCI or uh, I mean building an SCI shotgun, this would be a nice upgrade. So what I've noticed on my original one, you can actually kind of tell on this one as well. This arm is a little bit bent inwards and I was having some uh, sticky action problem. So hopefully this will fix that to some extent. So all I have to do is sand down the gold tin finish, put on some black finish somehow. If you have any tips on DIY um, refinishing tips for steel to make it black, my plan right now is just to paint it black, but I don't think that's gonna hold. So if you have any tips for me on how to do that properly, please let me know. Um, like I said, there's not really much to it. This, however, is very interesting. Um, if you're familiar with the Cam 870 platform, you'll know that the loading pro process for the original shells is very cumbersome and time consuming. You have to take each shell, uh, screw it into the CO2 filler, uh, like so and open up the valve and it fills with gas and then you can load your uh, BBs and whatnot. So this is a 25 pack of APS Cam 870 smart shells or smart cartridge. And the cool thing about these are, that's the reason why we have this CO2 adapter. Let's take a look what this is. Smart. CO2 charger for 88 gram capsule. And yeah, there's no little label on those. So what this does is you screw in an 88 gram CO2 capsule in this adapter. And in here is a fill valve directly built into the shell. So with these, you don't have to screw them into the CO2 filler adapter thingy. Rather, with the CO2 uh, capsule on here, you simply push the nozzle into the shell and it's going to fill like so. And the cool thing here is also that uh, in the uh, C original CO2 shell filler adapter thingy, you had to screw it in real tight to make sure the valve was aligned. But let's say this was in a fired position, like so. When I go to fill it with CO2, it automatically closes the valve as you push in the fill adapter. So this will significantly cut down on your loading times for the APS Cam 70 system. I haven't tried these out yet because I've been saving uh, the boxing and everything for this video. But I will be doing a in-depth comparison video between these new um, smart shells and the original Gen 1 shells, if you will. Let's see, where did I put that? Well, actually, no, that's for the comparison video. So this is a pack of 25. Whoop. And you get five different colors, five of each. So we have orange, we have white, we have green, we have blue, and finally red. So in one of my recent unboxing videos, I told you that I had bought green shell covers this plastic part right here that I'm gonna put on all of these to identify that those are my smart shells. 
What's up guys, Chris here, interrupting my own video. Uh, it turns out as I went to edit this video, I realized that a part was missing from the unboxing, which is this piece right here. The um, shell lifter with tin coating uh, was also included in the package. Uh, so I was looking around like a madman in my apartment. I was looking, uh, I started looking in my trash because I thought that it might have been stuck to a piece of tape from the packaging. Uh, wasn't in my trash. Looked all over under my recording table. Thought it maybe fell down there. Nothing there. Looked in all my storage containers. Nothing. Uh, and then finally I found it under the couch. So when I um, was putting the box back after inspecting the contents, uh, this must have fallen out and uh, ended up under the couch. So I don't want to, definitely don't want to short, short change uh, APS here in any way. So I figured I would uh, record an addition to the video. So let's just recap. We have 25 smart shells. Five of each color, red, blue, green, white, and orange. We have a smart shell fill adapter. Takes an 88 gram CO2 shell on here. We have the tin coated four end cradle. We have the tin coated shell lifter. We have the steel tin coated, well, I'm not sure, uh, steel magazine tube cradle arms. And the reason why I say, hmm, in that is you can see the difference in finish here. So I'm not sure if these I'm not sure if either of these are actually true tin coating, but they're gold anyway. So that is the complete package that I got. I will put links down in the description to everything. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.